Hey there, and welcome back. In business, it's always really nice to see new leads come in. The more lead generation channels you have, the more traffic you will probably receive. Usually, when you've got too many channels to deal with, it's hard to keep track of all these paying customers coming through. However, Amo CRM has a single space that connects with every lead generation touchpoint at your disposal. That's something we'll learn about today. What happens to leads when they arrive at your Amo CRM sales pipeline and what you can do with it. The first stage of any sales pipeline in Amo CRM is the incoming lead stage. That's the place where every new request will arrive from any lead source you've connected to it, like Facebook, Instagram or WhatsApp. When you receive a new request, the incoming lead card is created automatically with all the data that can come along with it. Let me show you how it works. So, when a new potential customer writes to you through a messenger like WhatsApp, sends you an email or calls you, the conversation will automatically land at the first stage of your sales pipeline in real time. Of course, that means you're always notified that someone who wants to talk business with you. And you don't need to switch from app to app in order to do that. This pipeline stage isn't mandatory, actually. If it's off, you can enable it in the lead section of your Amo CRM account. Proceed to lead sources, incoming leads, switch on. By default, only the account administrator can enable the incoming lead stage in a given sales pipeline. For other users, the admin can enable access to see the incoming lead stage and its contents in settings, users, and then by ticking the incoming lead setting. It takes a bit more than just that checkbox for users to see this stage, however. The incoming lead stage is only visible to users who at least have the right to create leads, contacts, and companies. If the user doesn't have access to at least one of these rights, the incoming lead section will be hidden to them. Disabling the incoming lead section simply hides it from the interface, but the functionality itself still works. Leads can still arrive in the pipeline. If you're in a situation where incoming leads should have appeared in the pipeline but didn't, there can be several reasons why that happened. 1. The incoming lead stage is not enabled. The switch in the pipeline settings is set to off. 2. The incoming lead stage is enabled but no integrations. That is, lead sources are connected. That means the incoming lead stage itself is enabled but there is nowhere to get incoming leads from. 3. The incoming lead stage is enabled. At least one integration is connected but you've got no traffic. If that's the case, well, don't worry. Things will start looking up soon enough. So, once everything is enabled and connected, meaning the incoming lead stage is on in the settings, at least one lead source integration is connected and there are some lead requests coming in. The incoming leads column will finally appear in the sales pipeline and stay there. Now that we know how it works, let's see how to connect lead sources to your sales pipeline. These leads won't invite themselves over otherwise, right? Go to Pipeline Setup. Click Add Source. Here you can find the lead sources, which you can automatically capture in Amo CRM, and there's quite a number of them. SMS, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Viber, Facebook Messenger, Facebook Lead Gen Forms, Facebook Comments, Phone, Web Forms, Business Card Scanner, Email Parsing, Google Sheets. It's pretty easy to connect lead sources to your pipeline. Press Leads in the upper left panel, Lead Sources section. Choose the source you need to connect. Another important feature you can use is duplicate control. If you turn it on, Amo CRM can automatically check for lead duplicates for you. It's pretty handy, isn't it? You can set the rules and methods for a duplicate check. Big data. That means Amo CRM will recognize duplicate leads by using machine learning algorithms and Amo CRM's own data. Tracking pixel. CRM will recognize duplicate leads through its digital footprint. Match email addresses with the leads. As long as the lead has the same email address, it won't be created again. Match phone numbers with the leads. Pretty much the same idea. You choose pipeline stages that will be searched for duplicate leads. Once the system detects duplicate leads, you can choose the actions to perform with the conflicting data. We'll choose to update the most recent lead in this case. Let's go back to the incoming leads stage. See, this request came from WhatsApp. That person is asking us if we provide web design services. You can accept the request to create a new lead, add it to the existing lead or delete the request, for example if it's spammy. Let's accept the request and send a response their way, right from the lead card. Now, the potential client leaves his name and phone number. We can call him now and fill in the contact card, email, order details, company information, etc. Oh, 
Oh goodness, we've got another lead. This time from a web form. Hmm, yeah, I don't recall subscribing to an online ticket service and hunting for a good opera deal. It's just not my groove, you know? Yeah, that's spam. Declined with extreme prejudice. You'll have to look elsewhere, bud. Look, yet another lead request. This time it came from live chat. It's obvious that we're already working with this person, so we're connecting the request to an existing lead by clicking on the link button and specifying the lead or the customer for linking. A few hours later, we get a telegram text. Hello again, I forgot to mention during the call that we also need a delivery. Obviously, it's also the lead that we're already working with. On this occasion, Ammo CRM is automatically connecting the, this conversation to the same lead. Let's respond right from the lead card, and as you can see, the answer is automatically sent to our leads telegram. Ammo CRM saved my time and helped me to avoid switching from app to app. We kept all of the conversation history, and if that person decides to write to us via some other channel, it'll be here, in the same spot as it always is. Neat! Now you know how to use the incoming lead stage and how to connect lead sources to your sales pipeline. Be sure to use it to your advantage because manual entry is of course necessary sometimes, but only sometimes. Let them come to you and save time doing that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.